From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Your full weather forecast with Greg D is coming up. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines. Most school districts do head back to school today. We have everything you need to know on abcactionnews.com slash back to school. In other news, accused quadruple murderer Shelby Neely expected back in court today. He will face a judge to learn how the murder trials spanning Pinellas and Pasco counties will work out. Authorities say that Neely killed his ex-wife in January, buried her in a Port Ritchie yard, then when her family became suspicious, Neely admitted to killing them as well. Right now, there's funding available to help get your kids up to reading standards as they head back to the classroom. Step up for students accepting applications. It's available for third and fifth grade students who scored a one or two on the English portion of the Florida Standards Assessment. The scholarships are $500 each. We have how to apply on abcactionnews.com slash back to school. Good news for a Brandon Middle School ready to start the new school year after lightning hit it just a few weeks ago. The strike sparked a devastating fire because of safety concerns. The McLean Middle School building had to be demolished since then. The Hillsborough County School District has rushed to get new classrooms ready by consolidating and shuffling teachers around. We are ready to go for Monday. It has been an amazing army to get us up and running. The area where the building once stood, as you see here, is now all grass and will be used as the school's designated location for outside science experiments. We're just learning now how harmful blue-green algae can be for pets. Researchers in Martin County found levels of the algae in one dog for more than two months. These blooms, most common in fresh water like lakes or ponds, they can produce toxins that stop a dog's liver from functioning properly and can be deadly. And a heads up for anyone thinking about adopting a furry family member. Pet Resource Center in Hillsborough County currently waiving all adoption fees because they're way over capacity. The shelter is open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Now here's Greg D with a look at your forecast as we start off the week. Hey, Greg. And James, lots of heat as we go into this afternoon. Temperatures climbing into the 90s as we go through the day. And the heat index, it's going to be in the 90s to low 100s. Take a look at your hour by hour forecast. Upper 80s to around 90 onshore flow early in the morning. That's really going to increase in coverage as we go into the afternoon. I do expect numerous showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 80s to low 90s with that heat index 100 to 105 degrees. The showers will be along the coast early and then east of I-75 for the the afternoon. Some of these may try to work their way back toward the coast by later on tonight, which means a couple of folks may see two rounds of rain. Best way to head is stay ahead of all of this. You can download the ABC Action News app for hour by hour planners throughout the day or check out the Storm Shield app. It gives you access to Titan Doppler radar right on your smartphone.